Where are my headphones? They're over here. Let's get and put them in the right place, Mike. Put your things away. Put your things away, Mike. What's happening, Boo Chunkies? Mike Delgadio here, back with another video on Home Studio Center for voiceover. If 2022 is the year of getting into voice acting, trying to get behind a microphone more, whether you're starting a podcast, you're, you're trying to get into voice acting or something like that, I wanted to share with you five or six microphones that are inexpensive, inexpensive and should all work well to start booking your first voice acting gigs. The thing I want to say up front is people uh, always sort of like idolize the microphones. I talk about microphones a lot. And if if you have a budget of a few hundred dollars, let's say a thousand dollars, I'm going to embark and I've been saving up and I want to embark on my, my voiceover career and I've got a thousand dollars to spend. Don't go and spend it on an $800 microphone, a $1,000 microphone. Don't go out and buy a Neumann with all that money. Unless you already have a recording space that you know will support a microphone like that. I always say if I have, you know, $1,000, I'll spend $800 on room treatment and $200 on a microphone. If I've got $500, the same sort of thing. I'll buy an $80 microphone and spend the rest of it on making my room as good as it can sound. An inexpensive mic will sound great in a good room. A really expensive mic will only bring out the flaws of a bad room. So if you're just getting started, Look at these microphones. These are all under, all these microphones are under $200, should all be perfectly fine for booking work and getting paid to use your voice on microphone. So with all that preamble out of the way, this is the first microphone that we're talking about. Very inexpensive microphone. This is the Neat Worker B, and I think it runs about $80. If you're looking for a very inexpensive microphone that punches above its weight, performs really well, the Neat Worker B is a great one. Super durable, really highly, uh, you know, totally robust, really well-made microphone, and a really inexpensive price. Comes with everything you need. Really good uh, shock filter, uh, sh <laughs> shock filter, shock mount, and a pop filter, a removable pop filter. Sorry, it's going to get a little ASMR here for a second, but it oh sorry it goes right onto the capsule it's, it's not the greatest pop filter but there is a built-in pop filter that just sort of clips onto the front of the microphone so this is the neat worker bee at 80 bucks if you have a, if you've got a limited budget an 80 dollar microphone and spend the rest of your money on making your booth it's not a not a bad idea okay so that's the 80 dollar microphone let's move up a step Next up, we've got the Movo VSM7 microphone. Now, this microphone sounds different than the Worker B, but has some other features that maybe would be helpful for de depending on the kind of situation that you're going to be recording in. The Worker B didn't have any buttons or switches or anything like that, but the Movo is one, it's got multiple patterns. This one can be an omnidirectional microphone, it can also be a figure eight pattern, and it can be your typical cardioid pattern that we would use for voiceover. It's got two switches on the back. It's got a, a switch that allows you to pad the microphone. So if you're recording something really loud, you're recording anime and you want to scream, you may need to pad the microphone by flipping a switch, which makes it somewhat less sensitive. I'm going to switch it right now and you'll see that. Now I have to really shout to be heard at all because it takes several de decibels away. I think it's 10 dB. Yeah, this one reduces 10 dB reduces by 10 decibels. So if you do have to scream, be really loud in front of the microphone, that pad switch can help. It also has a high pass filter, low cut filter, a bass roll off filter. So when you switch that pad on, it takes some of the bass away. So if you do have rumble of traffic that's outside, if you tend to be plosive in front of the microphone, if you've got uh, an air conditioner or a furnace that rumbles or anything like that, this can help uh, that, that switch can help take that away. Uh, I usually record with it off unless I have a specific need to it, but you can both record yourself nice and full, or you can take away some of that bass. So this one has a different sound, but also has some different, different features. So depending on what you're going to be recording, the Movo VSM7 might also be a reasonable choice. This microphone is only $125 when I checked it last. Not expensive, but it comes with everything you need. It comes with the pop filter, comes with the shock mount, comes with the microphone, 
you're good. You're good to go. This is the Lewitt LCT 240. Now this is the entry level cardioid condenser microphone in the Lewitt line, and they have a line. This is a this is the entry level in a line that goes up to like a thousand dollars and the Lewitt microphones are all excellent i've recorded with this microphone i've recorded with its its bigger siblings the the Lewitt microphones are great if i had a knock on this microphone is i wish at this price point i wish it came with a with a shock mount i believe you can for about forty dollars more purchase the shock mount it looks it looks like this this is its big brother the, the 440 uh, but you see the 440 comes with comes with the, the windscreen and a shock mount the 240 does not it's compatible so you want to buy these after you can but uh, th these are very clear microphones i think they sound great they're very flattering to my voice at least i really like the lewitt microphones and this is at the entry level the lct 240 so that's another one at 100 150 dollars not too Okay, next up we have a microphone that I think is a sleeper microphone. Does not get a ton of love out there, but I think it punches way above its weight. And I think it also can be very accommodating to less than ideal studios. So if you don't have all of your studio dialed in just yet, or if you'd like to use this microphone sort of in a larger room where there might be some sources of noise, this microphone can really come to the rescue. This is the CAD m179 multi-pattern microphone so like the movo this one has a high pass filter and it has a pad so you can take away some bass if you need to overcome the proximity effect if you're getting too close to the microphone you can switch that on and it also has a pad switch so turn that on you can see i have to really shout now to be heard so it's got those two those two switches but instead of just having three patterns like the movo did this one has all of the patterns and i'm not saying like this one has all the patterns in a in a meme like sense this one has all of the mono patterns it can be it can be a wide cardioid so it's very forgiving around it but won't hear sound from the back it can be a typical cardioid so that you're in a voiceover perspective it gives you freedom to move in front of the microphone but then it can also be a super cardioid microphone so as you get off to the side it will hear you a little bit less you can move it all the way up to a hyper cardioid so it falls off even earlier so it focuses more sound to the front all the way to a figure of eight pattern so it's really only hears from the front and back and virtually can't be heard at all from the side if you're hearing my voice it's because it's reflecting off the other surfaces but you can see it really does reject a ton of noise from the side which means you can angle this microphone in the figure eight pattern or in the hypercardioid pattern and put the dead spot of the microphone where a source of source of noise is so let's say your computer fan is right here you could put the dead spot of the microphone right where the right where the uh, source of noise is really handy and by having every pattern it gives you the freedom to experiment with all of the different patterns to really get it dialed in to your your recording space i reviewed this microphone some years ago and at the end of that video i spend a whole bunch of time i'll, I'll link to it there's i spend a whole bunch of time showing you how you can adjust this microphone to reject a keyboard noise to reject um uh, uh pc fan noise things like that at 180 dollars, i think is what this microphone's going for right now total total sleeper it's got a great capsule in it you hear the noise there's hardly any noise in it uh, a great great sounding microphone i recommend this one all the time i think it's great for less than perfect studios and at a great price point 185 bucks okay and now we have at 199 dollars the last microphone in our under $200 voiceover microphone roundup. This is the Stellar X2 microphone. And you can hear that this one sounds a little bit different than the other ones. This one does not have any buttons or switches. This one is just purely a cardioid microphone. And this one is designed to try and attempt to mimic a more vintage sounding, far more expensive microphone. I think it was an old vintage U87 that they were attempting to model with it. I don't know that it sounds like that microphone per se, but I do like the sound of this microphone. It's a very uh, muscular, 
I don't know. It's the only word I can I, I can think of for it. It's it's it almost sounds like there's a little bit of compression added. Maybe there's some circuitry inside that does that, or there's something about the capsule or the tuning. But I think this has great bass response. I think it's got a really crystal clear high end, without being a problematic high end. So it, you, unless you have like an S sound that is just like a needle, a very present microphone like this can be can be really good, and it can give you a really good a really good muscular sound. And, and at two hundred dollars, man, is it hard to go wrong with a with a microphone like this? You can hear it in a in a in a well treated acoustic space. A two hundred dollar microphone can perform just fantastically. And so the Stellar X two, this price, uh, I think uh, when I last checked, one hundred and ninety nine dollars. So we're right at the edge of our our under two hundred dollar mark. But you can hear it. All of the microphones that we've had that we've had so far, they've all sound sounded really good in the space. So I can recommend all of these, and you should be able to get paid for it. So if you if you can act and you can act behind a microphone, any of these microphones, any of them should be good. You'll hear there's little differences in sound, and you can see which one you like the best. But they're they're all available for you. And in here, I just want to I just want to demonstrate what I'm talking about. I'm going to switch in one more microphone. Okay. Now we have a $3,600 microphone in the booth. This is a Neumann U87 AI. It's a couple, a couple of years old, so it's the new version. It's not a vintage one. But you can hear that, the, yeah, there's a difference in sound, but is it thousands of dollars better than those other microphones? Yeah, maybe if you get up into like the Esoterica, if, you, if you're making a, an album, you're recording commercials for McDonald's or Nike or something like that, they, maybe they want to have. And you maybe you want to be able to say, yes, I'm talking into a $3,000, you know, microphone. But the delta between the, the $199 microphone and the $3,600 microphone, $3,200, whatever, whatever this one costs today, it's not, it's not huge. It's really not huge. So you got to really concentrate on your space because believe me, if you go and spend, you know, thousands of dollars on a microphone and you're using it in your bedroom or in your den or in your home office, it's going to, it's going to make it sound even, even worse. The microphone won't perform as you expect it to because it really expects to be in a well-treated studio environment to get the best performance out of it, especially if you're looking to get paid for voiceover where people have very specific requirements. So there is nothing wrong feature and functionality wise. These two microphones, $125 and 3000 some odd dollars, exact same buttons and switches, three patterns, omnidirectional, figure of eight, cardioid, pad switch, high pass filter, exact same exact same features between these two and this one you even get a pop filter <laughs> but th the point is you don't need to you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on a microphone to get started in voiceover and i'd i'd say it's probably not where you want to spend your your first thousand dollars in voiceover don't spend it on a microphone spend it on your booth and get a budget microphone until you can work up and buy the mic that you think you're going to use forever. I hope that helps. That's all I have for you. Now, get out there, record something amazing. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.